Hi everyone, welcome to the Cool Tools Video Show. Today we're very excited once again to bring you an exclusive first look at a device that's been sweeping the blogosphere in terms of hype. Back in January, Apple CEO Steve Jobs unveiled the iPhone, a combination mobile phone and widescreen iPod device that also includes a web browser and an email client. AT&T signed on to be the exclusive carrier of the iPhone, signing a five-year deal for the right to be the only carrier of the iPhone. The company plans to launch the device on June 29th, and in anticipation of this launch, I contacted the PR officials at AT&T and Apple for a test unit. But apparently this request got lost within the thousands of other requests from members of the media. Uh, and despite my incredible fame and popularity, I was unable to get an iPhone through the normal PR channels. But then I remembered my underground contacts, and these are the same folks who had acquired a Sony PlayStation 3 for me last November. Is it possible that they could get me an iPhone? So after digging through my office, I found the phone number of my source, and yes, he was able to send me an iPhone, uh, unfortunately for a pretty hefty sum. But thankfully, this show has an incredible budget, and I'm able to expense the cost of getting this iPhone. So I'm going to show you the, uh, the uh, box right now. Oh, this is great. Now, you know, of course, Apple is always about elegant packaging. Uh, it's almost as fun to open the box as it is to play with the device. Uh, so we're going to kind of open this up and see what, what we've got here. Um, as you can see, we've got some tech specs on the side. Uh, again, Apple is just amazing in terms of its packaging. Um, I mean, you're not going to get packaging material like this from, from any source, people. All right. And here it is, folks. Here is the iPhone. Now, again, I want to go over this. This is the, uh, the iPhone combines uh, a mobile phone. So here's our mobile phone part. A uh, widescreen iPod. We've got that right here with uh, new touch controls and an internet communications device that uh, is just next generation. It's amazing. Supports desktop class email, web browsing, maps, searching, uh, multi-touch display, which means you can touch in multiple places. No? No? Okay. It's a multi-touch display. Uh, new software lets you control everything with your fingers. You can just do all this stuff with the, the cool iPhone stuff. Uh, the mobile phone lets you make calls by pointing your finger at a name or number in your address book. Uh, favorites list or a call log. The device syncs your contacts from a PC, Mac, or an internet service. Uh, the widescreen iPod, four gigabytes or eight gigabytes of storage, plays music, audiobooks, videos, TV shows, movies on a 3.5 inch widescreen wide display. Uh, no, over the, no over the air downloads though, but if you have an iTunes library on your PC or Mac, you're going to have to synchronize that to the device. Now on the internet browser side, it includes a rich HTML email client and Safari web browser with built-in Google and Yahoo searching. Uh, network connectivity includes Wi-Fi and AT&T's Edge network. Um, so after playing this with this for a few days, I'm kind of slightly disappointed. This really doesn't have the look and the feel of that phone, the iPhone that Steve Jobs was holding up at that Macworld keynote. And the, you know, those TV ads do a really good job of making the device look a lot sleeker than this. Uh, I think I'm going to have to contact my underground source and see what's up. Uh, maybe there's a manual in the box somewhere that I, you know, that I have to read. Uh, so that's going to do it for this week's Cool Tools show. I'm Keith Shaw, and if AT&T or Apple ever send me a real iPhone, I'll be back with a real review. Thanks for watching.